I am Grace D'Angeli and I welcome you to Breast Cancer Hero's Journey Podcast. Welcome home. Hi everyone and welcome to today's episode. Today I actually thought I'll record myself as much as my voice because I wanted to actually, this will be eventually on YouTube, so I wanted to speak about something that's really close to my heart today and like I always say, I want to be as transparent as I am because I don't want to talk about what people should try and not do and have this and don't do this and things like that. So I thought if it has to start at the buck start with me. So this week is, um, the last two weeks I've just been a little bit anxious. Um, It's normal feeling to feel anxious. I'm not trying to go into fear because um, I'm due for my yearly MRI. And in actual fact, um, after I record this in a couple of hours, I actually have to go and do my mammogram and my ultrasound for, uh, well, mammogram is definitely for the year, but ultrasound is definitely the last six months. And then tomorrow I have to do my MRI and then I go and see my doctor. So I thought I, I want to record this because I wanted you guys to see how this does affect me as well. It's not just me saying it. Um, I've been doing a lot of work on myself. I've been reading, um, you know, I've been healing myself every time I have these negative thoughts in my head, uh, you know, because fear likes to kick in. Um, You get all these body sensation. It's quite funny because um, I don't have these or I don't feel these body sensations until until I have to go to my doctor's appointment. Um, So what it does is it actually makes me feel really uneasy because I think, okay, is something going to be found this time? Is it this time that they're going to find something? Is it this time they're going to find something? And the thing is, instead of saying that, now I'm saying I'm okay, I'm I'm good, I feel good, I feel good. Yeah, okay, I've got aches and pains, but I'm close to 50, so that's expected. But it's nothing that's going to, you know, that I feel that it can hurt me. So I need to go in there with a clear mind. But instead of ignoring the fear, instead of, you know, like, just blocking your ears and la, 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 I don't want to hear it. What I'm doing is the moment it raises, the moment that feeling comes in, I acknowledge it, I look at it, and then I give it love. And I'm like, it's okay. I know you're scared. I know you're scared. This has happened. This happens every time that you have to go and get tested. I know. Because the thing is, it's it's not that if something is, it's the unknown. It's the unknown that gets us worried. It's the unknown that makes us feel a little bit anxious because before that, we're good. And after that, if God forbid, even if the news is, yes, we found something, you've got to do more tests, whatever, at least you're like, well, okay, well then At least I know where I go from here. At least I know going forward. But I'm not trying to put it out there. Of course, I'm always saying, you know, I always feel this and I am learning. I am learning. I'm human and I'm learning. But this time around, I am feeling a little bit better than the last time. Uh, I remember the first time I actually lost six months of my life. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't be doing this. I would not even be doing this. I'd be still in bed until the absolute moment that I have to get up, shower, change, get ready and go to my appointment. Um, So, but now what I do is I, I just break through those old patterns and I'm like, you know what? I'm here to live. So if I'm here to live, I've got to start living. I can't just sit back and wait and just, I'm being gentle with myself. Don't get me wrong, but I'm allowing those feelings to come through. I've cried. I've cried many times. You know, I feel a little, and I always say to my husband, I'm just feeling a little bit scared and it's okay. But you know, today, one of the things that I'm doing through uh, the book that I guys, I discussed with you guys a couple of weeks ago that I started um, Gabby Bernstein's six week kickstart, um, you know, workbook, you know, her book there, uh, which is on, you know, the link below will actually take you there. If you go to the angels of grace.me forward slash resource, you'll find her book there. Now, the thing is, it's all about manifesting. It's all about manifestation. It's all about affirmations. But the thing is, you really need to fill it in your body. There's no point saying things like, oh, I am, I'm going to be good. I'm going to feel good. I'm going to feel good. And your body's slumped over and you're feeling depressed and you're feeling like, oh, and your voice is, you know, it doesn't sound too good. No, you have to stand up and say, hey, I'm good. I feel this. I feel this. I'm okay. No matter what happens, I'm okay. And the thing is, I'm being tested. 
life gives you these challenges. They don't stop giving you challenges. And I talk about this because it's not just, um, oh, hey, guys, you know, you had it once. Okay, let's move on. I even spoke about when you, you get diagnosed with cancer, you're going through that journey and life still throws you curveballs. So it's a matter of how are you going to react to them? Are you going to react or are you not going to react? So, and this is one of those journeys. Am I going to react or am I not going to react? But having said that, of course, I'm human. I feel this. I, I feel a little bit anxious in my body. Um, like I said, I feel sensations in my breast area, you know, um, things like that. Now, the thing is, the last time I actually even, um, I remember one of my, my, um, my uh, appointments, I was more worried about my left breast because that's where I was diagnosed. And in actual fact, when I went and saw her that year, um, this was prior to COVID, she said to me, Grace, everything's right. Everything's perfect on the right side, but we found something, sorry, on the left side, but we found something small on the right side. So it's quite funny because I'm thinking I'm always concentrating on the left side, but what I should be concentrating is on neither side and say to myself, you know what? I'm good. I'm healthy. I'm blessed. I trust. I trust that I will be good. So I've got to go through this. You know, I'm not going to bury my head through the sand. I'm not going to close my eyes and, and hope to God I never have to be tested. This is something that I'm going to have to get used to. Um, and with time, I will get used to it because with time, like everything, repetition is the mother of all skills. So the more I repeat that I know and the more I can put, you know, um, fear and the ego and everything at bay, I'm not saying I'm getting rid of them, but as soon as I can sort of know how to, how to, what to do, how to direct them, the easier it is on me. Because when I think about it, I already know two famous people in the world. One of them that I know needs to go and get a brain scan every six months to make sure something hasn't come back. Now I'm thinking, what do they go through? So I'm sure they feel a little bit anxious towards the appointment. But at the same time, the thing is I can't live every six months or 12 months waiting. Um, and as I said, I, 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 you know, I got the text message. I knew it was coming up. So it's not that I was surprised. I knew I was coming up for my annual um, checkup. And that moment that I got it, I thought, you know what, Grace, you're going to have to look at this differently. You're going to have to go through this. No matter what happens, you have to go through it. So there's no point knowing what the outcome is if I don't go through it. And there's no point overcoming that fear or, or being scared or being anxious if I don't go through it. Because if I don't go through it and God forbid, because we're, we're in lockdown here in Melbourne, Australia. And if my doctor decides every, you know, three days, she's going to go, oh, we have to cancel because of lockdown. We have to cancel because of lockdown. And I'm, I've got that attitude of, oh, thank goodness for that. I don't have to go. That's the wrong attitude to have because what I'm doing is I'm suppressing what I need to go through. One of my challenges in life, every one of us have to go through a challenge. And as much as it sucks, we don't like it, we need to go forward. So I wanted to create this video because this is before I'm going to my mammogram and my ultrasound for today. And what I will do is I will continue this recording. I'll record another one when I come back, how I felt, uh, things like that. And then of course, tomorrow, um, my time, it'll be tomorrow morning, very, very early. So it won't be until after, but either way, I will make a podcast because I want to share that feeling that I felt before, after, and in between. Um, and, and just to let you know that it's normal, it's okay to feel this, you know what I mean? And, and when I speak to other cancer survivors and you say, you know, um, oh, I'm, I'm due for, you know, my next checkup, they they know exactly what you're you're feeling. So they're they're feeling that same, you know, anxiousness because they're like, oh, oh, yeah, 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 you'll be fine. But you just get that um, because it's something, as I said, you know, it's, this is going to be a part of my life for the rest of my life. Um, you know, like, you know, unless some magic pill comes out, um, which I mentioned in one of my podcasts with one of my guests, uh, they decided to find a magic vaccine for the COVID, but they still haven't found anything for cancer. But unless a magic vaccine or a magic pill comes up for cancer, 
this is something that I have to do every year, no matter where I'm, I am in the world, whether I'm living in Australia, where I'm finally living overseas or whether I'm living interstate, no matter where it is, this is something that I have to do every year. So I wanted to share this with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And like always, I wish you so much love and light.